Inside this bag is an electric guitar. Yes, inside this book bag is an electric guitar, basically. And this is the guitar. This is a Journey electric guitar. And what better way to show off this guitar than to actually take it apart, put it back in the bag, and get on a plane. We can go somewhere like, I don't know, Chicago. So, yeah, let's go. I'll see you there. Hold on, I'm gonna take it apart though. All you gotta do is unscrew this thing, press this button, watch this. Yes, the neck comes off. Ooh, we gotta watch that headstock. It comes off as well. Put it back in the bag. Come on, let's go. Jimmy's here. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey, you ready to go on this trip? Let's go. I think I see him. I think I see him. This escalator is, is, is my whole trip summed up. Yeah, it's, not it really. it's not working. It just doesn't work. Dude, what's up? What's How up? You doing? We just rented the car. Yeah, final. And this lighting is just. This is. I'm gonna put this. This is my studio. new studio. No, no. Hey, we got our car finally. Got it. Let's get it. Escalade! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Escalade looks like this. Look who finally decided to show up. Dang, that's a wide lens. You can see you can see me? Yeah, that's wide. Whoa. Are you tired? I'm tired. My eyes are you are ready for this conference over. tomorrow? I don't I think I'd rather sleep in right at this point. So when you I already know how to legally lead worship. Legally! <laughs> <laughs> Do you legally lead worship, Kevin? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. That's right. I don't know if we do. I gotta go to the breakout session. <laughs> <laughs> there might be stuff I don't know. I didn't know about shelled eggs. That's right. You gotta know no carton. I thought you No carton. No yeah. carton. Before I let a couple of my friends play this guitar, and you might recognize them. I felt it move a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do. <laughs> if you would have saw, we need to know. That's what you want to know. Uh, I want to talk about the guitar itself. This is the Journey OE, that's overhead electric, that's what they call it. Uh, the OE 990 CB, and they said CB because of me, Chad Buckland, my name. Um, no, I think it's a cherry burst, the color, so if you're looking at the other one, it might be BL for the blue one. I don't know what the other one is. This guitar is really interesting because it breaks apart, as you saw in the video already. It goes in a bag that looks like this. They do that so that way you can travel well with it, and it travels pretty well. And it's uh, really cool because it's not a very tiny guitar. It actually feels like a, like a normal size guitar. Let me show you in comparison. This one is a guitar that I built when I was in high school and it's not very much different in size. Just a little taller maybe. And check this one out. Our electric guitarist here at the church, he gave this one to me on, in, my right, in my right hand here. I'm just kidding, he didn't give this guitar to me. But uh, we can compare the, 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 the one that breaks down and travels with it. And it, it's not too terribly much smaller. And this guitar is massive. That's why I'm comparing it with it because it's so different. So as you can see, even though it's a travel guitar, it's not tiny. It's not tiny by any means. It feels like a normal size. And it's a 25 inch scale that's uh, 635 millimeters. Uh, as far as like the scale of the guitar and the overall uh, length of the guitar is 38 inches. Yeah, pretty guitar too. I, let's just talk about looks for a second. I like this, the cutout here and how they angled the uh, cutout section there. I like this little, the notches here where the strap goes is pretty cool. Um, it just has a, overall it does look really good. I love that the strings go through the body. And that's what's cool about this is it has an adjustable steel bridge, but it's also a through body, through body hardtail bridge. I, I think that takes it up a, a notch for me. I think that's pretty cool. The tuners are the Journey 18 to one locking chrome tuners. These are dual coil splitting humbuckers and it does have a three way switch for you as well as the volume knob and a tone knob. Pretty simple as far as the setup of the, uh, of the electronics, which is kind of nice sometimes, you know, when you got like 1800 knobs and then seven switches on a guitar, it can be, you know, like why, why? Just make a guitar, you don't have to make a spaceship. The neck on this overhead electric is uh, a maple, which is nice and it's C-shaped. It's actually 
kind of C-shaped, but it feels pretty good. It's nice and smooth. It doesn't feel too grippy, but it, and it also has uh, a really good feel along the fretboard as well. You, you can't feel the frets. The nut is a bone nut, but it does have this little contraption <laughs> over the nut that allows the strings to stay down into this like really deep setted nut. Uh, so that way the strings don't just fly out everywhere or like start pulling on the uh, tuners when you take the neck off. The fretboard itself is a 16 inch rosewood, pretty standard, um, and it does have 22 frets on the board. All right, so I just got it out of the bag. Filming Jimmy, filming Chad. Am I messing up this video? No, you're Here, good. It's not my video. I'm the, I'm the voiceover <laughs> that you're hearing from there. Well, let me see the headstock. Yeah, check out the headstock. Okay, there you go. The headstock's important. I want to make sure the strings are twisted. You want to make sure. I want to make sure they're twisted. But <laughs> it just seems like the logical way to put it on there. Maybe you should take it out of the back. All right, I'm gonna slide the headstock on. All right, it's being assembled. Slide it in. Let's make sure these Notice are. It's one person doing assembly here. It's not a multiple. It's not a team of people. It's not a two-person assembly job. No, and then you just look at that. Pop it, it down. Snap. It snapped. Oh, it snaps in. And then you tighten. What? <laughs> Look at this thing. Just like that. You don't want to fill any play. There it is. And it's got pretty good action, despite literally just being assembled. So, the thing that's cool about it to me is that it's it looks like a normal guitar. Right. Like it's a, it's in it's a lot of travel guitars. Pretty normal like size, back. right? Like yeah. don't look like normal guitars. They they also have a like a bluish teal kind of sunbursty look. That one looks better than this one, but this is the one they sent me, so we're going with this. All right, let's get uh, set up. Here you go, sir. So what do you think about it so far, just picking it up? It feels like a guitar. A weight distribution is a little bizarre. I wonder if it's because there's so much hardware in the neck. It probably yeah, kind of like needs the neck to be. Has a, yeah, it's really kind of. In the neck to get it attached. Well, it's out of tune. Oh, definitely. <laughs> if you would have saw the string, they were literally twisted in the bag. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. That's that neck think? is bizarre, yeah. but it it, yeah, it yeah. it's it that makes it hard to play like in that regard. But the like the playability, if you can like remove that is nice it makes me wonder if they have to beef it up uh, yeah be, i mean i'm sure yeah I, I'm, that's what i'm yeah. thinking because like it's like a it may be the way that this this part connected right here because there was like these two big long screws yeah these rods yeah they're rods, like little yeah. but it's like it's like curved in and then it's flat right like i don't i've never played a shape oh is it like shape. the les paul that we had the epiphone a little bit you remember that thing that was more this is it this is more narrow What do you think about it? The neck is different. I will agree mm -hmm. with Bradford. The neck is different, but I don't mind it because it's, I like chunky necks. It's pretty chunky. Um, the fretwork is like surprisingly good. I'll say that. It plays nice. It seems to be in tune, like intonated well. Right, right, right. And that's right yeah. out of the box. Yeah. How much? Back. How much does it cost? That's the question. I think it's six. Six hundred bucks or six ninety nine. Yeah, somewhere around in there. For Between a guitar five that and seven. You put in a backpack and travel right. with. Right. Right. I mean, that's pretty cool. And I guess if you're limited, it's hard on to yeah space. It's hard to tell what the pickups sound like because it's like we're playing, we're backstage and there's True. mains in front right, of us. Yeah. But it sounds like it sounds cool. The neck, the bridge sounds like it cuts pretty well, but then the neck felt really warm. So. And the neck was pretty warm. I, it felt like there's a pretty big. But that sounds like like it's got some clarity and like that's a pretty big tone. It's pretty awesome. Sweet. Um, yeah, I, I, I dig it. It's cool. I think we, bad looking guitar. Do you want to try it? I, mean, I, I, will, I will play Jimmy, that. Play it. I'll film you. Yeah, I was wondering how the action was going to be, and it's it's pr it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Sounds good. Yeah. The neck. I was wondering after y'all said it. I agree. The neck feels a little weird. Kind of has this like a uh, Pinocchio feel, where you see all the joints from from this side, right, but from right, the front, right. 
it looks it looks great. So we got a thumbs up from the tech crew. Okay. Actually says it sounds good. Okay, good. That's that's what we need to know. That's what you want to know. That's right. Y'all do guitar lessons? <laughs> <laughs> That tone sounds great. That sounds amazing. Backstage, back behind the speakers, it sounds real good. Hey, walk out there and just yeah, see yeah. if we can capture a smidge of that with that mic real quick. C30 and a Benson Chimera? Chimera. And stereo. Stere wow. Those, both those amps not are stereo. Oh yeah. Just, but we're not in stereo here. Those amps are just <laughs> he might break it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here, why not? Why not get I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't care. Hey, I would play this. Last final thoughts. What do you think? Uh, it looks great. I think it look. It looks it looks great. Like from when you're looking at the guitar, I think that looks like a, a really cool guitar. Mm -hmm. It is unique, but it does unique things. So, I mean, being able to fold it up and bring it on a in the plane with you, like you did, I think that's that could be valuable. Sticking to an people. overhead. There he is. There he is. It's the real the legend thing. right here. Uh, you know what they call me, Jimmy Hendrix. Do they? Mm -hmm. I've never heard. They that. call him Jimmy Cooper. You never heard me play guitar here. I have. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. You get wound. I'm always wound. I don't really like you. So what is? Let's take it home. Here we go. Unscrew the back. Here we go. We don't strip it out there. Hit the button. Neck comes right off. A little snug, but that's good. That's a good thing. We're gonna lay it flat on the ground here. We're still in tune, everybody. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put that up in just a second. This goes in a little side pocket. Slide this into the uh, computer section. Done. Open that up. This will not be taken out until I get home after sending it through security. Okay, put this in a little pocket here. Oh yeah, they have this little protective thing. That's kind of nice, but it, I don't know. It's kind of designed weird, but we still use it anyway. And then this somehow goes here. So I'm just a little confused on this section because I don't like this just floating in there. So I need another spot for this just to be truthful. And like, what do, what do I do with the strings? I don't want them touching the guitar necessarily so I'm kind of confused on that as well. But that's how they say to do it. All right, here we go. Close it up. But it did still, so I want to say this, it did still have plenty of room for like my computer stuff. I had a couple, a camera in there, some other camera gear. So that was pretty cool that it, you can carry all that stuff right there in your guitar bag. So that's a benefit, I guess. We are back from Chicago. This guitar was a lot of fun and it kind of brought some of us together um, to be able to hang out for a little bit. So thank you, Bradford. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Jimmy, uh, for hanging out with us and playing this guitar. Thank you, Kevin, for filming a little bit and hanging out with us as well. But this guitar was um, interesting, to say the least. Overall, it was, it was pretty decent to travel with. It's seven point something pounds, the guitar itself. And then when you throw in the bag, it makes it, uh, I don't think that's three pounds, but they say it's like 11 pounds something. Um, 11 point something pounds total, uh, not to mention maybe a computer or something like that. The bag is actually kind of nice. It has a good feel to it, good weight. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels protect protective. Um, it does have a front pocket that you can slide some stuff in, nice deep front pocket. 
as you can see, it has a second pocket that you can put some other stuff in. You can put um, maybe a iPad right there, some pens, other things. So that's like a typical book bag pocket that you have. You have a key thing right there. The third pocket is nice because you can slide a nice large computer. I have the 16-inch uh, MacBook that went in here just fine. There's, you know, it could probably fit a little bit bigger as well, as well as it has some depth to it and you can put some clothes in there if you really want. See that? That's kind of nice. In all reality, do you need a travel guitar? There's a lot of options out there to travel with your regular size electric guitar, acoustic guitar, bass guitar. It's pretty cool. I, I, I definitely think that there is some use for it. I don't think it's necessary for everybody unless you just want to be able to say, yes, my guitar comes apart. I think that's, it's kind of that second kind of cool factor of like, yeah, it's just cool to have. It plays pretty well, it sounds pretty good. I know I'm not much of an electric guitarist, but from my friends, you know, they can tell like it plays well. Um, so I don't think you're sacrificing a whole lot there by going with something that can travel pretty well. But if you're looking at this video because you are already interested in this, I think you should go for it. I think it's cheap enough. I think you, you can't afford not to buy it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that. No, but I, I think it, it would be a great buy if you are in the market for something like this. Um, or if you're just a guitar collector, I think that's pretty cool too. Really cool thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to learn more about this, this guitar itself, or it's two brothers that has a couple, they have two other colors. Go check out the link below uh, to check this guitar out and see what you think about it. Journey, send me an electric bass. That's what I wanna try out. I can play that. And we can really get dive into that and give it a good test. What do you think? Oh yeah. Okay, let's do that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember great worship leaders and guitarists are always learning. Have a good day. In this, it, Why'd you hand it to me broke? <laughs> Let's put it together though. Hold on, hold on. This is a guitar and it fits in that bag. All right, let me see the neck. Let me see. All right, it go, this goes in like this. Yeah, just like that. And then here's the body of the guitar.